Best day ever. It's the best day ever for this playful pup and her boy who cares for her from his wheelchair. This furry friend is so happy to be out with her boy, she doesn't even realize that she's going a little overboard. Will dog and boy be able to make amends? An exuberant story about a devoted friendship. Charlie makes a splash. Like many kids on the autism spectrum, Charlie finds solace and empowerment in pools, ponds, sprinklers, visiting the aquarium, and swimming in the ocean. Through his adventures and discoveries, he shows the world that even though he has autism, autism doesn't have him. Everybody, a celebration of diverse abilities. Celebrating children of different abilities, this photographic book presents large, clear images of children moving around their community using scooters, wheelchairs, walkers, and more. The text presents their experiences navigating the world, from the park to the beach, in simple, relatable language. My Brother Otto and the Birthday Party Piper and her little brother Otto, who is on the autism spectrum, are excited to attend a birthday party for their friend Ruthie. In kid-friendly language, Piper explains the accommodations Otto and Ruthie, who is also autistic, need in order to feel safe and secure in a stimulating new environment. Some bodies. Through playful rhymes and colorful artwork, all the things that make our body special, from the texture of our hair to the color of our eyes, are celebrated. This sweet and inclusive book encourages young readers to acknowledge and accept differences and offers the perfect opportunity to open up conversations about body acceptance. Tyra's not talking. Tyra won't talk to her new classmates. Is there anything they can do? Kitty decides she'll show Tyra things instead of telling her. Soon the pair are communicating with gestures, drawings, and smiles. Before long, all the others join in the fun too. This story shows that words aren't the only way to connect and be friends. When a friend needs a friend. Aya and Oscar are best friends, but when Oscar gets sad, his feelings grow so big he doesn't want to play, and that leaves Aya feeling hurt and confused. With candor and compassion, this heartfelt story shows that big feelings are a normal part of life, something to be felt rather than fixed, and models how to be an ally when someone you love is hurting.